going to open up the object to X model export converter. I'm going to drag it in. Get rid of the parentheses. Backspace once. Hold left arrow till you get under the C. And backspace again. Hit enter. And that will convert it to the X model export file. Thanks to Brandon Hastings. I need to edit a couple things here. So you're going to open it up. Maximize it here. Going to drag all the way to the bottom. And the third line from the bottom where it says reflective, there needs to be a space between reflective and the number zero, and there isn't. So go in there and put a space. And then the name of your material, put it up here in these quotes. And we called it again in Blender M, for simplicity's sake. And do the same thing here. I don't know if this is exactly how you're supposed to do it, this is what works for me. You close it up, save it. There you have your X model export ready to toss in the asset manager there. So we're going to open up our compile tools. Can this will work in Call of Duty 5 too? And there you have it. Minimize that. Okay. First thing we're going to do is our material. Remember you have to call it the same thing that you called the material in Blender, which was M. Select new entry. Yep, that's what we want. And this you want to change to model fong, this you want to change to none, and then get that orange image that I chose as a texture in the asset manager. So again you gotta have that image to texture that you're gonna use on your material, you gotta have that in there too. In the export. So choose that. We're gonna go to no tile and no MIP by linear. If you don't do that it'll tell you that you need to do it when you try converting. We're going to set up our X model, and now this you can call anything you want. I'm going to call it Meat because the name of my map is Meat Grinder. Okay, and then you're going to load that X model export file you just converted. Again, you're going to have that in your um, model export. There it is. Use that. Now you need to save it. Okay. Type in the name down there for file name, Meat, and you need to save this in it's a source data. Yeah, that's where you need to save it. So save it. You're going to go back up to your material. Go up here, click material, choose it. PC convert. And happy, happy, joy. There you go. Press any key to continue. And you're going to convert your X model. And PC convert. Let's see. There you go. Maximum number of vertices you can have is 32, 768. For some reason, if you choose an odd shaped size in Blender to import a portion, it'll tell you something about actual size far exceeds the size of the model and uh, import it closer to the root bone, something about the radius. Try a, a longer or larger piece and you won't get that problem. So they converted this one and was happy with it. So we'll close that out. <coughs> Excuse me, now we'll check to see if it's actually down there in my. X model folder in RAW. So we'll go down here. We'll check it out. It should be at the bottom of the list. And there it is. So now I'll open it up in a map. And I'll show you how to use it to. Basically, you're skinning the model to create your, your terrain, is what you're doing. To make nice looking hills, that's a lot easier for me to do it this way than to. To try, you know, paint height. You need to pull out your bar here and you need to depress M so that it will show the vertices on your model so you can snap to them when you weld the terrain patch to the model. So I got that depressed, put that back up there. Open up a, a map here. So I got the map. Now we're going to import that model that we just created. Miscellaneous model, get rid of that, and <coughs> go in here. Da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. And there's X model. Get it up and look for it. Remember, we call the X model meat. So we'll go here until we find it. Could just type it in. Let's look for this one. There it is. Open it up. Bring it in. Here's our model. In order to snap vertices, what you want is you want the terrain patches that you're going to create. You want that terrain 
to match the vertices on the model when you create the terrain patches. And of course, once you, you get you know the size that you want of a terrain patch, you can just duplicate that till you have it big enough to for the area that you require. Just duplicate those you know, one and then two, four, eight, and so on. I'm gonna make this one ten by ten. And then since it's 10 faces, you need 11 lines. So 11 by 11. And there you have that. Now, when you're welding vertices, the first object you choose is the one that's going to stay stationary with its vertices. The second one is the one whose vertices are going to move to the first one. So since you want to mold your terrain to that model, you'll want to choose your model first. So we'll do that. choose the model and we'll choose the terrain patch and I think I had X accidentally locked I have to unlock that up there so here you see and there's the vertices displayed because we depressed M and it's lining up with those so you're going to be able to weld those straight down. So you know you're going to hold the left mouse button to create the box, hit W, and do that over and over again. Whatever resolution you chose when you first created that uh, grid plane there, that's the resolution you're getting here. However many units. And you have that, and you see it's snapping the terrain down to the model. So it'll match it exactly. It'd be nice if the model had collision so you didn't have to do that. By the way, you see the orange texture that I added there. Which, you know, it's not going to be part of the terrain. The model is just a template. Snapping down, you see the verts are all snapping down. Now once you've done that, with that piece of model, you don't don't delete the model. I'm just hiding it there to show you that it's indeed snapping the the terrain down there. Okay, and once you've done that and you want to import the next piece of your model, what you want to do first is you want to go into here and when you saved your X model, uh, you know I had, I had to save it in source data there, go ahead and delete that once you're done before you import your next piece. And go ahead and delete it. Then go back to your model export file folder and make sure you delete everything but your texture and your export converter here meaning get rid of the material file the object file and the X model export file that was created you just want these two things left also and then your piece that you had here since you don't need it anymore go ahead to select and edit mode there and select it. You're going to hit Control Z to go back to the point where you first selected that piece. Control Z till it's highlighted and then delete it, you know, spacebar, X, and delete faces. So edit, delete, and faces since you don't need that piece anymore. Okay, and now the next piece that you choose here to import, and you'll convert and import. You know, since you left your model alone in there in your map, the next piece that you choose here, it will automatically place it properly. It will line it up and everything. Whether you choose a piece right there in conjunction with it or in a different part of the map. I go piece by piece there. And it will line it up perfectly and then you can use it. And that's about it. Thanks for your time.